Church Tech Weekly presents NAM 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for everything related to live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, we are continuing our NAM 2014 coverage here in Anaheim. And uh, I have uh, Christian Gluck here. He is the project manager, product manager for MyMix, which you know they are a sponsor and uh, they're a good friend of ours and we like a lot of their products. And they have two new products that they're showing here at the NAMM show that uh, I wanted Christian to talk about, two really cool products that we think you guys will be interested in. So take it away, Christian. Okay, thank you. So what we have here, the first thing, maybe I, I move it out a little bit, is it okay? Okay, it's the MyMix install. So for everybody who knows, my mix a little bit, it's the same ingredients, it's the same network mixer that can pick up to 16 channels from the network, which could have up to 500 audio channels. So basically unlimited, because usually people run out of money buying devices before they hit our technical limit. We said unlimited before and people didn't take it. So now I say 500, which is a hot figure. Anyway, the MyMix install, as you can see, has this very nice uh, shaped glass panel. So what is it made for? Um, our key thinking was that the MyMix system is not only used by the musicians on stage. We see more and more people where the engineers and the crew actually is using it for themselves. Having some of the channels to listen to the program that's going on, but also using their local inputs with the microphones as an intercom system within the group. Now, from that perspective on, we said, hey, let's expand it throughout the building. So a MyMix install is something that would sit perfectly, let's say, in your lobby. Why would you put it in your lobby? So it has, as any MyMix, local inputs and outputs. The difference is only that they sit on a Phoenix connector in, in the back. So that means, of course, you're putting some XLR sockets or whatever in the wall when you install it. And, but this means that you're having audio channels from the network. Of course, in the lobby, you don't have all the drum mics and stuff. Some submixes for music or whatever program you need, but you have local inputs. So if there is a reception or something like that, you just plug in two local microphones and here is your mixer to go through the lobby speakers. The same can go for an overflow room or a cry room. Another market that this will also, and it's pretty much the same application, just a different place, then same goes in hotel rooms where they use it for background music, uh, room combining stuff. Same thing, very important thing on the MyMix control here is that you, uh, and the install that you can use the MyMix control to lock all the individual functions that you do not want the people to deal with. Because let's say it's different, the musicians on stage, to some degree, worst case, it's their own sound. <laughs> but here, you, you know, you don't want somebody to, 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 to <clears throat> madden it up for everybody. So you can make it as simple as you want that when people touch it, all they can really do is change the volume of a dedicated channel and that's it. Okay. You can. Or, or it could just be the mix. You could pre do the mix, lock it, and then they can just turn up and vol down volume. You can also decide, hey, all I give them is the master volume. And it's the only button that will work. Everything else is, is locked and all they change is the master volume. That's really up to you how you want to have it, okay? But as I said, this was possible, the locking. The locking feature, you need the MyMix control to do all the settings and the lockings. But if you put this in a, in a church, then I suggest MyMix control anyway to work with the musicians. Now, now what? Now on this, when is it shipping and what's going to be the cost of it? Uh, the MyMix install is sh shipping since last year, September. We shipped the first month, or October. <laughs> anyway, we have the first installs already out there. Uh, price point is uh, so around 1,400 US dollars. So some people said oh, it's a lot of money compared to the normal MyMix. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, if you look what it can do and what it does, typically, you would go with a custom programmed touch panel and all of a sudden you are closer to the five digit number. <laughs> so it is, from a MyBricks perspective, not a bargain, but in fact, if you look at the overall scheme, it is, okay. And then you have one more product that is really cool. Yeah, and this is, uh, we call it the RX2. I have a prototype here. Uh, this is a MyMix rack mixer. So you see there is a, 19 inch panel that can hold up to three of them. So you get three rack mixers if you want in one you or just one depending on what you do. The rear side looks a little bit similar like the MyMix. Now it doesn't have the inputs. It has the outputs on balanced XLRs, network connection, 
if you use PoE, you don't need the power supply, but really depending on what you do. So what is this rec mixer for? Uh, two main application, the biggest, largest application definitely is um, you've got people on stage and four or five musicians are using wireless in-ears and all the transmitters are not close where the MyMix is. So they would like to get just remotely get that signal there. So what they do is they create the mix on stage with the MyMix. They're sending that mix to the network because one of the advantages of the MyMix system is because we have this unlimited slash 500 channel count, you can put all the mixes on the network. It doesn't really matter because we are not fixed, okay? So this mix, this unit, which you set up using the MyMix control again. So you see these pro both products derive from the MyMix control actually. So you take that stereo mix from the guitar player or whatever, you know, put it up in volume and feed it to his wireless transmitter. Now, because this is a full-blown MyMix inside, you can still add a stereo mix that counts for two channels. You can still add additional channels like talkback, intercom channels that he doesn't have to waste on his stage unit for. I mean, to say. The second application is, and we had some engineers that really love the idea that they can use this creating a mix and putting it on the network as a submix inside the system. Typically, people use the auxes on a console to do a submix of drums or vocals or whatsoever. Now, if they want to keep that inside the MyMix system for whatever reason, this is ideal because the engineer sets it up on this unit and it sits in the rack and it's just creating the submix for the drums or the submix for the vocals. You might not even use the outputs, it might just, you know, do it on the network, get the individual channels in, send the mixes out. Yeah. So we expect this to be shipping in March. Price of the uh, RX2 is $599. And then you can put up to three on in each one of yeah. these. The rack mount kit comes separate. This is, I think it's, it's $69 that comes with the panel and, and the angles. So if you want to put it in the rack, yeah, three in one U. Great. And you can uh, check all the information on this is on their very new revamped website. Yeah. And that... Uh, the URL of that website is? MyMixAudio.com. MyMixAudio.com. So you, these are two things that are very cool. You definitely want to go to the website and look at them and uh, see if they're going to work for you. So we thank our friends at MyMix and uh, more from NAM coming up.